Hello guys, um, welcome back. Now we are going to create our first program, our Hello World program. And this is because everybody else does it too. <laughs> so first of all, we have to give our variables a type. Um, but for that I'm going to show you the meaning and the importance of the command implicit none. Um, as I told you before, if you type an explanation mark before anything, then it automatically becomes green, which means it becomes a um, comment. But for the time, we're going to use this command, and then we're going to go to the main body and type a is equal to 8. Then we're going to compile the program and we're going to see that we have two problems. The first one is that variable a has been given a value but never used. Okay, we know that. We didn't uh, expect anything wow to be created from this program. The second one, which is more important, and that's why it's in red, it says a must appear in a type declaration because implicit none has been used. So since we have implicit none command, we have to say what type of variable a is. Now, what happens if we don't have the implicit none? Will we still have the problem? No. So what's the importance of the implicit none? Well, you have to note two things. First of all, A and A capital are the same um, variables. And how can I prove this to you? Here you go. And As you see, I say I ordered the computer to print the variable a, but instead of uh, printing the variable a with small letters, it printed the capital one. So this means that both a's are the same. But the second thing is that when we don't use implicit none, then the program understands that a must be a real number, a real vari val uh, variable. So what's the gain of the implicit none? You see, sometimes the variables are not only one letter. They could be vehicle, could be vehicles, vehicles, and it could be also bike, bikes, first bike, etc. So, as we uh, use a lot of variables while uh, creating a program, sometimes we might uh, use a slightly different variable and we think that it's the same, but then we are referring to a totally different variable. So, when we have implicit none, this makes us to declare which variables we're going to use. Uh, when we don't use implicit none, then i and k are integers, and j, I suppose. Oh, um, let's bring these values, a, i, k. As you see, I didn't type anything different. I didn't type comma zero 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 zero. But uh, because a in the memory of Fortran is real, 
and i and k are integers then the results are integers for i and k so in order to be sure of what you type it's better to give the implicit none variable uh, command and then to declare on your own the variables so real a integer i but you don't have to follow the instructions of everybody else k could be also a real variable and as you see k is going to have decimals 0, 0, 0. Uh, I'm not going to explain you more about integers because I promise you that we're going to create a hello world application so I'm going to delete everything and just type print quote hello world quote and then we can print again I am the first program oops let's be honest so this is your first program congratulations see you in the next video